What's up people, Dr. Woods is right here and welcome to another Top 10. Last Top 10, we did the Top 10 favourite music soundtracks from movies. And to tell you truthfully, I enjoyed it. Now, welcome to the other Top 10 though. This is the second part, which is, uh, once again, requested from the same fellow. There you go. I keep forgetting your name, I do apologise. But here we go, that's his name. And, um, yeah, he wa also wanted to know about my game soundtracks that I absolutely love. And once again, it's just the same rules. I have to own them on CD, vinyl or cassette tapes. I can only pick one game per franchise for the soundtrack. But also, does the game, I mean, does the soundtrack have the same feeling for that video game? That's definitely a point for me for this get for these for this top 10. Now, just to let you guys know, the, my video game soundtracks is a lot, lot bigger. About over 35 to 40 CDs and records and tapes of music all over the place for games. Now just to let you guys know, I have a lot of them. I really really do. So it was super super difficult and all that lot. But once again, after this video is over, I will be putting up a poll for you guys to vote. If you guys want to see my personal collection of all my soundtracks of my movies and my video games. Because there is quite a lot of them. And some of them I can't really show you because they're all locked away in with other games collections. Which will be a bit of a pain in the ass because I have to open up every single game I've got that has a CD inside. So I will give a shout for them. But, as well for this, there is a shout out right now for two games that should be on this list but should that are not on it. Because they are not on CD or on vinyl or tape because I got them on iTunes and I also have them on Spotify. And I can't put them on the list because I don't physically own them. And that is Final Fantasy X. Sorry Final Fantasy X, you would definitely be on this list. And the Yakuza franchise. Yes, I have Yakuza 0, Yakuza 5, Yakuza 3 and Yakuza 6 all on my iPhone on iTunes. It's not physical, it's just a download so it cannot count. If it was, they would definitely be on my top 10 list. But either way, let's get this started. This is my top 10 favourite video game soundtracks that I own. Number 10 is one of the most scariest games I've ever played, White Day. Now, White Day, if you guys know, I did not live stream it. I reacted to it because I played the game before I even did properly do proper video game YouTubing. And to me, it was so freaking scary. I did not want to play the game ever again. I even, I never really finished it. I got very close to the very end and then I got stuck and then I kept on getting killed by the same ghost over and over again. That gave me so many jump scares and all that lot. And like I said, it is a Korean game. Now you may be thinking, what's so good about this soundtrack? Mainly the feeling of it. Now if you play this in the middle of the night in a cold dark area or even outside walking and having it in your headphones you will absolutely shit yourself. You will shit, you will poo, you will poo poo your pants. It is scary music, it really is. It makes you feel like something's coming right behind you to grab you and scare the light, living daylights out of you. But at the same day though, there is one song in this called Like a Dream that's in a Korean and an English version is quite beautiful. I really do like it. But the horror music of this game is so spot on that has the most feeling of the game. I couldn't say no to it. It's definitely my top 10 list. Why is it not higher? It's because it's, there's only one song in the whole entire soundtrack that is that has lyrics, which is Like a Dream. Everything else doesn't really have any sound, any proper lyrics, just a lot of ooh, and a lot of twangs and a lot of footstep music and noise and everything. It's, it's quite scary. But like I said though, if you guys are very interested in the soundtrack, I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and listen to the soundtrack, which will be a, probably a playlist on YouTube. So that's my number 10. Number 9, I had to put it in, you could probably class this as a compilation video game though, but it's Smash Brothers. This is the Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS and on the Wii U, the premium sound selection. And 
I can't really say. It's freaking ace. It has all the music that in different areas in Nintendo. What can go wrong? Nothing could go wrong. It's ace. It's a fantastic thing. You have the first disc, the red one, 30, 36 songs from the Nintendo 3DS version. And then the blue one, which is for the Wii U version that has also 32 songs. Now, there is a little sidetrack though. Um, some songs in the red version are the same on the blue version. Just a little bit more upbeat and a bit more technical. Because the Wii U, the 3DS version was different to the Wii U version with sound quality and uh, different maps. So, yeah, there's that. But, Pun Together though is an absolute belter of a game soundtrack. I love it. And literally, what, what can you not hate? You have stuff on Legend of Zelda, Kirby, Mario, Donkey Kong, Earthbound, Samus, the Wii Fit, whatever, Fire Emblem, and of course, Pokemon. Hello, Pokemon! <laughs> and also, there's lots of other great ones on here. Star Fox, Little Mac, Pac-Man, Captain Falcon, yes, Mute City. Freaking love that tune. Anyhow. That is my number 9 spot, Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U and the 3DS. I wish I did have the new one that's on the Switch, but I haven't seen it anywhere, and this is as close I can get to. And plus, that was quite hard to come by. Now, number 8. Now, let's get into a bit of horror right now, once again, and this is... Once again, a shout out to Wax and Beans. The soundtrack to Silent Hill 1 on the PS1. Oh my freaking god, people. This is amazing. Holy crap, this is amazing, people. Absolutely amazing. Now, I can't go ahead and say that Silent Hill is better than Resident Evil. No, I can't say that. But the music... That music, the music is super, super eerie, but the theme tune, the theme tune to Silent Hill is so freaking good. Super good. Now this has, of course, two records in it, which has a lot, a lot of music. You talk about one about two to three hours of it. And and if you guys don't know, um, um, Mondo is one of the biggest companies that does video game records. They do a lot of stuff for Castlevania and um, a lot of other great games. But this is sick, people. Really, really sick. It's amazing. Now, you may be thinking, what else? Why is it not high and up? Um, there is a few songs that I know that I definitely did know that was in the video game and Sally would not put in the record, which was a bummer, really was, that I absolutely really, really do love. But I cannot fault it being the very first ever print of Silent Hill on a record. This is the first ever print, a first press of Silent Hill being on a record. I've not seen any other record that had Silent Hill as a, as a video game soundtrack. This is the first one ever. And for a very first start, first press, I can't fault it. It's absolutely spot on. Just a few little minors or a few soundtracks that were missing. But besides that though, fantastic. Next up though, number seven. The original score of Red Dead Redemption 2. I love Red Dead Redemption. I really do. I prefer it than Grand Theft Auto. Fucking come at me, haters. <laughs> I love Red Dead. It's ace. Way better than GTA. It really is. Rockstar, for God's sakes, make yourself a remake of number one. Come on. Now, this is, once again, a two-record LP. And the songs in it are literally every single song from the game is in this. And one thing though, does it have the feeling of the video game? It really does because it's, it's the country western stuff. I love that type of stuff. But why is it not high enough? Uh, I actually, to be honest, <laughs> I actually really wanted it to be a three record album. I really wanted it to be because I knew there was a lot more songs in Red Dead Redemption. 
which I do know, that were sadly, I think, were scrapped or was slightly not in the game fully. Because I know for sure there was more than 24 sound s songs in Red Dead Redemption 2. I know 100% for sure. But still though, for once again, a first ever press of Red Dead Redemption 2 on a record. Once again, an absolute gem of a record. And definitely one of my favourites to listen to. I listen to it quite a lot of time. Because I do like country western stuff and that is just super super nice. Really really good. Now let's go to number six. Now let you guys know number six to number one now was super super difficult because they were all fantastic scores and fantastic music and had all the same feelings in every single game. But I had to go ahead and pick it from um, my high expectations of it all and uh, this is the first, this is my number six spot and that is this one. Now if you don't have a clue what that is, that is Ghost of Tsushima. This is the soundtrack from PlayStation. Thank you, PlayStation. And thank you, Wax and Beans, as well. Um, the record of, Sh of Ghost of Tsushima. And you guys know how much I loved Ghost of Tsushima. I live-streamed it with you guys, and it was absolutely a beautiful game. And a beautiful soundtrack. There was not a lot of it when we first ever played it, because this music was quite shifty and everything and that's the one little thing little downers with it was there was not a lot of music in the game that was the one thing about it but when you listen to the soundtrack on its own when you want to have a nice relaxation whether you want to read a book or you want to fall asleep this does it it's beautiful and of course there is some epic fighting music in this too which there is there's some great ones in there but if you guys have not heard of the soundtrack perfectly because you've been playing the game too much, like you've been playing it on the PS5 or on the PS4. I'll put in the link in the description so you guys can listen to the soundtrack. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's my number six spot. Number five. You will be surprised why this is not high enough. And that is Kingdom Hearts The Concert. Now I have four different con um, Kingdom Hearts records. Well, I've got three on CD and I've got one on record. The record one is Kingdom Hearts 3, which has only four songs in it, so I couldn't go on the list. And the other two are um, pretty much the compilations of every single game in four discs in two different products. But this one, this one got me. This one really got me almost. Because this is the concert that I was supposed to be going in 2020 before COVID-19 struck. I was supposed to go and see this. And thanks to COVID, I didn't go to Japan and I didn't go and see this, which really did upset me. However, I was blessed enough to get myself a copy of the CD instead and I played it all the time. Loved it, it was beautiful. Do you need to play the video game for this? You don't even need to play the video game for this. It's just beautiful orchestra music. That's all it is. This is an orchestra. No, like, lyrics or anything like this. This is just instruments playing the music of Kingdom Hearts. And it's absolutely beautiful. Listening to this in the fields. If you guys live in near a meadow, play this on your headphones or anything like that. You will just drift away. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you guys want to know more about this CD, I'll leave a link in the description down below for the soundtrack, if I can find it, because it's quite hard to find the orchestra soundtrack of this on the internet. And it's quite expensive. This is around about a 40 to £50 pound CD. That's how much I paid for this. It's quite expensive. So... Yeah, it's definitely my t number five spot. Why is it not high enough? Main thing about it, you can't really have the feel of this in a video game, you know, as I would say. But still, though, it's definitely one of my personal favourites. Number four is another horror game. And that is, I can only pick one out of the franchise, and I had to pick... The originator of it all, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Oh, 
Fuck yes, 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 yes. This is amazing. Now, just to let you guys know, I don't own every single Resident Evil record because some of them haven't even come out yet, meaning Resident Evil 7, uh, Resident Evil 5, and Resident Evil 8 Village. I've got all the rest of them, including 6, but this one, this one is my personal favourite. 100% my personal favourite. It would have been number 4, but the music of Nemesis in this beats it. 100% beats it. When you hear that music of Nemesis, that is it. I fucking loved it. I my my I get goosebumps every time when I say that word Nemesis. It's insane. And just to let you guys know, the artwork. Look at Nemesis on that. It may look a bit dark to you guys, but he looks menacing in this. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. And once again, this is legit from Capcom. Capcom made this. They made a record for Resident Evil. And that's where all of these um, Resident Evil records are all coming from. They're all coming from Capcom. So thank you Capcom for this. And uh, it's just phenomenal. It really is. And if you guys are thinking to, thinking to yourself, thinking, I played Resident Evil 3 on the original PS1. That, that's not the remake, that's the original PS1 version. You may be thinking, there wasn't a lot of music on Resident Evil 3, was there? There was. You just really didn't hear it as much, but when you hear it on its own, beautiful. But now it's time for my top three. Now for bronze, I was flapping a long time ago, because I bought this in CEX which is a UK pawn shop for movies and video games and CDs. And it's Persona 4. You may be thinking, wait a minute, Dobsy, that's a video game. What are you playing at? Uh, yeah. But if you read the fine print at the bottom, soundtrack CD included. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I went to CX and I was super, super lucky. I got Persona 4 a long time ago and it contained the CD soundtrack of Persona 4. So yeah, this counts. <laughs> and if you guys are massive Persona 4 fans, you guys know exactly the music of this game. And it's fantastic. Upbeat, epic, quite dancing a little bit. If you guys haven't seen some of the memes on the internet, you know for sure what is going on. <sighs> but why is it not high enough? That's like, Why is it not number two and why is it number one? Pretty much... There's lots and lots of reasons, but it's hard to explain because the other two are a lot, lot better. <laughs> but, like I said, Persona 4, once again, it's not my absolute favourite Persona game of all time. We already know that. It, my favourite's number three. It's just that the music is just so upbeat. I literally, I want up to. Um, I was so close to buying the actual CD Ultimate Collection in Japan. I missed out on it by a few days later because somebody bought it. And I would have listened to it all the time when I was in Japan because it was, number one, it was non-copyrighted, which would have been amazing. And um, it's just a great soundtrack. It really is. <laughs> it's not as epic as like Resident Evil or Silent Hill or Kingdom Hearts or, or the Super Smash Brothers or anything like that. It's calm. It's collected. It's nice upbeating with a bit of beats into it and a bit of bass and a bit of guitar. It's beautiful and some great slokes too, even though some of them you may not understand because in Japanese, or some of them actually are in English or with a bit of rap, which is ace. It's just a fantastic um, video game that has a soundtrack and I was so happy that I got a CD of Persona 4 on, on, for, for the soundtrack, which is ace. But that's my number three. Now number two and number one was Difficult. Super, super difficult. But I had made a decision. Because when I pulled out one of them, the cellophane was ripping. I never listened to it. And when the cellophane ripped, I'm thinking, oh, that's it. Right, time to listen to it. And when I listened to it, boom, it was number one. I couldn't say no to it. But this is my number two spot. And that is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yep. 
one of the most rarest Castlevania games in the world on record. And it's beautiful. A la carte, right at the front, with Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, the back at the, at, right at the bottom. And turn it around, you have the father, Dracula himself. This looks absolutely beautiful. It really is. And you might be thinking, what songs are on this? Four records. I mean, two records, four sides. You have all the songs from Symphony of the Night, okay? That's one thing. And then it has all the remixes of all three Castlevanias from the NES. So Castlevania 1, 2 Simon's Quest, and 3 Dracula's Curse. And you has my favourite song of all time, Very Bloody Tears. And if you guys know what that is, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for the playlist of Symphony of the Night. It's nice, so good. And it's just absolutely beautiful because... If you guys want to know what is my favourite side on this, it's side D, which is the second record, second side. And it has four remix, it has six remixes. It has remix one and two of The Vampire Killer, which was in number one. Very Bloody Tears, remix one and two from number two. And Beginning, which is remix one and two, which was from number three. Beautiful and epicness. Now, why is it not number one? Because the last one, when I first listened to it for the very first time yesterday, I said to myself, yep, that's going to be it. That's number one. Don't care about anything else. It had to be done. <laughs> so, yeah, what's number one? And this is a beautiful box. And here's the symbol. You guys know what that is? You guys should know because I live streamed it twice with you guys. And that is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, you may be thinking, just a remake? No. This has two records in it. It has Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Final Fantasy VII Vinyl. Meaning, this is the remake and the original 1997 PS1 game soundtrack. And look at the box. Look at the box. That's just a sleeve. Just to say, not give you guys what it is. But look at it. It's Cloud's sword. It looks amazing. But when you open it up, that's the record of number of the remake. And then you flip it over to the other side, which I'll do it really quick. And that's the PS1 version of the record. Oh my. God. God, it's absolutely amazing, ladies and gentlemen. And I definitely solemnly swear, guys, that this is literally one of my personal favourite video game soundtracks that I have ever got. And just to let you guys know, this is definitely one of the most expensive records I ever purchased. Literally, one of the most expensive. I think I paid around about 80 to £90 pound for this record, which is absolutely beautiful. But why is this number one? Well, first off, again, it's Final Fantasy. But when I listened to this, I first listened to the remake first. And when I heard all the tunes that I've been playing on the video game, loved it and everything, then I thought, part of me thought to myself, let me go listen to the PS1 version. And then all that memories flood right back when I heard One Wing Angel. I lost my shit when I listened to it. My goosebumps, my hairs stood up ends like crazy, they were like daggers when I heard it. I'm just so freaking happy that I now own one of the most collectible Final Fantasy records known to man. Maybe not the most highly collectible record of Final Fantasy. Maybe there might be another one, but definitely in my eyes, it's one of my personal favourites. So, that is my top ten. What do you guys think? Did I pick the right choices? Is there records or CDs that you own that are absolutely awesome, that are soundtracks from movies or video games? But like I said, though, we're not done yet. You guys, I've got a poll to go through now. You can say yes or you can say no. Do you guys want to see my full collection of records that are, well, records and CDs of movies and video game soundtracks? I mean everything. 
So, leave it in the poll after this video. And with that being said, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing. And don't forget to vote. Cheerio!